Neptune through the houses, seventh house to the 12th house. Welcome back to my channel. Thank you for clicking the video. In this video, I'm going to be continuing the series, the video that I did earlier of Neptune through the houses, first house to the sixth house. All right, so we're going to continue in this video discussing Neptune through the houses, my interpretation, and the most important takeaways with each placement. Let's get into it. Neptune in the seventh house. So Neptune, let's go over Neptune again. Neptune represents dreams, facades, spirituality, imagination, all things involving imagination, intangible forces, creative intelligence, and universal love. The whole concept of universal love. This is what Neptune represents. The seventh house is associated with our relationships and partnerships and our open enemies, okay? So when we think of the seventh house, the seventh house tells you about your relationships that you form, you know, the partnerships that you form and the type of open enemies that you may deal with in your life. With this placement, your dreams and ideals are associated with relationships and partnerships. So what does this mean? This means that literally when you think of your dreams and your ideal fantasies, it's connected to relationships and partnerships. A lot of times when people have this placement, they literally dream of meeting their perfect partner. Like that's just all they dream and fantasize about, whether they, they dream about meeting the perfect relationship partner and they also dream about meeting the perfect business partner, okay? Because that's what their dreams and ideals are connected to. It's connected to partners. There may be some confusion, deception, and uncertainty involving these matters, okay? So it works both ways. Now, while you have the dreams and ideals associated with your relationships and your partnerships, at the same time, you may experience confusion of surrounding these matters. Like maybe you're confused about what type of partner you really wanna be with, or if you even wanna be in a relationship. You may experience deception at the hand of a partner, you know, a relationship partner or a business partner, okay? So you have to be very careful with that. When you have this placement, you have to make sure that you're partnering with people that you can really trust and that people that aren't just putting over a facade or people that aren't just trying to delude you and, you know, sell you an image and deceive you. This is similar to having natal Neptune in Libra because Libra rules the seventh house, okay? If you have this placement, you wanna make sure you study natal Neptune and Libra descriptions as well because you will find that that resonates with you and it sounds like you, all right? So that's Neptune in the seventh house. Neptune in the eighth house. Again, we know what Neptune represents. The eighth house represents matters involving other people's values and resources. It also represents complex financial and emotional matters, okay? So this is what the eighth house represents. It represents all matters involving other people's values and resources, and it represents complex financial and emotional matters. With this placement, your dreams and ideals are associated with other people's values and resources and leveraging other people's values and resources, okay? So whatever Neptune touches is like we we have our dreams and ideals connected to these matters. This can manifest in many different ways. So when you make the connection, this person has dreams and ideals associated with other people's values and resources and as far as complex financial and emotional matters. A lot of times how you see this play out is when people have this placement, they dream of mastering the art of leveraging other people's resources. Like, for example, when you see people who know how to, like, flip houses and stuff like that, they know how to get bank loans, you know, they know how to get other people's resources and make it work for them. It's like they dream of being able to get other people's values and get into these complex financial and emotional matters, right? So there's the dreams and ideals connected to these matters. There may be some confusion, delusion, and deception involving these matters, okay? So whatever Neptune touches, it causes some kind of confusion and some kind of delusion and deception. So we have to watch out for that and keep an eye out for, you know, not being deceived when it comes to doing business with other people and getting into complex financial and emotional matters, you know, matters involving debt. You have to make sure that you're seeing these matters clearly. This is similar to having natal Neptune in Scorpio because Scorpio rules the eighth house, okay? So this is very important. If you have this placement, you wanna make sure you study natal Neptune and Scorpio descriptions as well because you will find that that information resonates with you and it sounds like you. That's Neptune in the eighth house. Neptune in the ninth house. Again, we know what Neptune represents. The ninth house represents higher education and college. It represents philosophical matters, long distance travel, 
airlines, and foreigners. Okay, so these are all the things that the ninth house represents. Higher education, such as college, philosophical matters, long distance travel, airlines, and foreigners. With this placement, your dreams and ideals are connected to higher education, philosophy, higher knowledge, and long distance travel. A lot of times when people have this placement, as far as the dreams and ideals, they literally dream of getting a degree. They dream of, you know, being seen as this person who has mastered higher education, you know, someone who is a philosopher, someone who just has all this higher knowledge, someone who is well-traveled. That's the dream for these people. There may be some confusion, delusion, and deception involving these matters, okay? So this is very important, is that, remember, whatever Neptune touches, it causes some confusion, delusion, and deception involving these matters. This is the placement of someone that is a spiritual philosopher, okay? So Neptune, like I said before, has a lot to do with spirituality. The ninth house is the house of philosophy, and being a philosopher, you have to watch for being deceived, by philosophical or religious people okay so this is very important is that you have to watch for being deceived by people who may try to lead you astray with philosophy and religion and as far as like belief systems you have to really really have the self-awareness to watch out for that okay and this is similar to having natal neptune in sagittarius because sagittarius rules the ninth house so if you have this placement make sure you study natal neptune in sagittarius as well neptune in the tenth house we know what Neptune represents. The 10th house represents our public life and reputation and mentors and career and status. These are all the things that the 10th house represents. It represents our public life and reputation, literally what we're known for publicly. You know, it has to do with mentors, career, status, also authority figures. With this placement, your dreams and ideals are associated with your mentors, your public life and reputation and career and status. A lot of times how you see this manifest is that literally these people dream of having a public life. They dream of being a person with such a strong reputation. They dream of being someone who has a career, has status, someone who's a mentor, someone who's an authority figure. This is literally what they dream about. On the downside, there is confusion delusion and deception involving your public life, your reputation, your career and status and mentors. A lot of times how this plays out is people, they, when people have this placement, they dream of having a career, they dream of being famous, but then they don't know how. And there's, there's a lot of uncertainty within them as they start to feel like, man, I don't know how though. I don't know what career I'm supposed to get into. I don't know what I'm supposed to be famous for. So you have to sift through all that confusion and fogginess and get a lot of clarity. That's very important. This is the placement of someone that has the reputation of being very spiritual, okay? So remember, whatever Neptune touches, it has to do with spirituality. The 10th house has to do with our reputation. So when people have this placement, they tend to have the reputation of someone that is very spiritual. This is similar to having natal Neptune in Capricorn because Capricorn rules the 10th house, okay? So this is very important. This is similar to having natal Neptune in Capricorn. I did a video explaining Neptune in Capricorn. Make sure you check that out. Neptune in the 11th house. We know what Neptune represents. The 11th house represents shared ideals, friendships, hobbies you enjoy with others, group organizations, community, clubs, and networking, okay? These are all the things that the 11th house represents. It represents shared ideals, friendships, hobbies you enjoy with others, group organizations, community, clubs, and networking. With this placement, your dreams and ideals are associated with 11th house matters. What does this mean? So again, like I said uh, quite a few times is that whatever Neptune touches, your dreams and ideals are associated with those matters. So your dreams are literally associated with 11th house matters. This can manifest in many different ways. Maybe you dream of you know, the perfect friend, you know, or making friends with certain people. Maybe you dream of getting involved in a certain group organization or club and being accepted by that group organization and club. Maybe you dream of connecting with people that have the sh same shared ideals as you. This manifests in many different ways. There may be some confusion, delusion, and deception involving your friends and the groups, networks, and clubs that you're a part of, okay? So this is very important, is you have to watch for being deceived by people that are in these clubs and organizations and groups that you're a part of, okay? A lot of times you see when people have this placement is they tend to, like when someone has this placement, 
it's not it wouldn't be shocking if they were to like join some creepy cult like some scary cult whereas like they're just into some like really weird stuff and you know the leader is just very deceiving you got to watch for that like you really have to watch for being deceived by people that you consider a friend or someone who's all about the community and the club and networking you got to keep your eye out for that this is the placement of someone that gets involved in spiritual organizations and clubs and uses spirituality to build a following. Okay, so this is very important is that this placement is the placement of someone that gets involved in spiritual organizations and clubs and knows how to use spirituality to build a following. Okay, so once you're making sure that you have the self-awareness to not be getting involved with people who are going to try to deceive you or getting in, in clubs with people who are very deceptive. You have to learn how to use your spirituality to build a following and get involved in spiritual organizations and clubs. This is similar to having natal Neptune in Aquarius because Aquarius rules the 11th house. This is very important. Make sure you study natal Neptune in Aquarius as well. Neptune in the 12th house, the last one of the series, last but not least. Neptune, we know what Neptune represents. The 12th house represents selfless service, spirituality, our mental health, our subconscious mind and places of isolation. These are all the things that the 12th house represents. Selfless service, spirituality, our mental health, our subconscious mind and places of isolation. This is similar to having natal Neptune in Pisces because Pisces rules the 12th house. So Neptune feels right at home being in the 12th house. Again, so reinforcing what I said, Neptune rules Pisces and the 12th house. So Neptune loves being in Pisces and loves being in the 12th house. With this placement, your dreams and ideals are associated with 12th house matters. You are a true dreamer and truly an imaginative person, okay? So this is very important. When you have this placement, your dreams and ideals are connected to, you know, providing selfless service, you know, spirituality, mastering your mental health, you know, getting into the subconscious mind and the power of the subconscious mind, you know, being in places of isolation. This is literally what your dreams and ideals are associated with. You are a true dreamer with a strong imagination and you are truly an imaginative person. This is the placement of someone that is a spiritual leader, sp spiritual healer, someone that is truly empathetic and compassionate and has a desire to help those that society has forgotten about. Okay, so when you have this placement, you have this, the, you have it in you to be a spiritual healer, to be someone that is so empathetic and just so compassionate and someone that helps those that society looks down upon and society has forgotten about. This is also the placement of someone that truly understands the power of the subconscious mind and the spiritual aspect to it, okay? When people have this placement, is even if they're not aware of it, they understand how powerful their subconscious mind is and, you know, the type of things that they program into their subconscious mind. They're very aware of that power and they're very intuitive and they know how to truly tap into that creative intelligence and that creative spiritual energy, all right? And also, this is someone that dreams in isolation slash away from others. I just talked to a client who had this, and he said it. He was like, I just love to dream. I just love to be by myself, isolated, isolated away from others, and just dream. All right? So, And also, there may be some confusion, delusion, and deception for you involving 12th house matters. You may not see these matters clearly, okay? So with the house that Neptune touches, we don't see the matters of that house clearly, okay? So you may realize that, dang, I don't really understand 12th house matters. It's like it kind of becomes foggy for you. And that's, so that's something that you have to work, work over and you have to watch for any deception involving people in the, you know, the 12th house environments. Make sure that people that are associated with 12th house matters aren't deceiving you. All right. Thank you for, thank you for watching. Take care.